back to the handheld. So this is my new toy. It's a gimbal and you put let me see your iPhone up there and you extend the gimbal like this and basically you mount your iPhone on top and the camera gets stabilized. So this is the camera now stabilized. As you can see when I move around the cam slowly pans but I can move my hands and yeah it's much more stable like that and I can extend it a far bit with the setup and when I swing around you can see my studio and this will be the way that I'll be filming of course I will close the window and darken it down a bit and yeah it's really funky little toy now I just need to find something to record the audio with right now I'm using the built-in microphone from the iPhone which is not the best of course but something to keep in mind is that I can't really mount a microphone to the gimbal so I probably need yeah, to record it externally and this would be okay. So this is the other side of my studio and as you can see there's another studio light set up here and this is used if you take a look and come around here. This is my main light. This was my lunch. <laughs> this is the light I've turned off uh, on and it will keep me a, a little bit lit. And as you can see right now, it's very bright outside. And I don't know if I want to keep it that way. Not really sure. But yeah, that's my light setup. I probably will take down, down the shades again. And I will have two cameras filming me. One will be over there. This will probably, this will probably be the iPhone. And my other cam will be situated they're probably filming a nearer shot of me. This way you could have a total of me probably standing right here with the studio in the back and some of this stuff that I need to tidy up. And yeah the other one will be nearer something like that probably that near yeah and i will be talking over there so this will be my new setup and yeah we can power this stuff it will start to have lights blinking lights so I need to change this here to there, which looks better, yeah. And I have to use the app provided with the gimbal right now, which is okay. It's auto. Most of the time you can set up stuff manually, but I need to dive more into it. As I said, this is the other light 
I'll probably switch the bulbs, light, the two lights, because this one is just one light bulb and the other one is four and I have another one with four light bulbs. And yeah, I, I need to change stuff that I don't have that much light behind me. So I, I, I hope that I can get this light a little bit hotter so that this side will get more light and with with this light coming from the front to fill up against the background I guess this light would make a nice ring light or rim light and yeah as you can see this light is reflecting in the eyes to make me look not that dead yeah looks good and I will start shooting end of this week with a roundup over super boost I guess the new announcements and my thoughts about the Novation Peak I'm really intrigued but you have to pin it again some other sins and really decide if I want to get the peak or probably the Pava these are the two I will put side by side and yeah get an idea what I really want so I have to go to a job starting in 20 minutes or so so I will cut down the recording here and do some more stuff tomorrow for this vlog so stay tuned so I will yeah I will we'll try out the gimbal at the weekend in in a shoot and I'm right now finishing a song I did at the last form and there you have a little look and I'm right now doing a kind of mastering but not in the traditional way I will mix the song on the iPad then send it through a tape emulation I have a real tape recorder up here but it's not set up yet and I don't have tapes so I just need to buy some tapes but this one will run through a tape emulation because I really want to have a sound that sounds like defect tape player with fluttering and, and hiss and all the stuff you need and I will do a slow-mo shot with this iPhone which takes 120 frames per second stabilized with a gimbal and then run it through some visual effects to make it look like VHS or something from that era yeah and give it a really stylized look as the song really leans itself to uh, more yeah late 80s sound so I will try to recapture this sounds like my neighbors are in their morning meeting so they're greeting themselves I have to go out and say hello to them so stay tuned for another music video and another song that you didn't hear before but now I have to record my daily jam drop so if you want to see my jam drops um, I'm on Instagram and I will link it here or write it down in the description some way you will find my Instagram just google me and yeah 
I have to do that before I have to go to a design meeting. Fancy. So, see you guys. <laughs>